Hello and welcome to Furry Ears World, where we are back on the jolly old Sky Factory thing, and we're doing this stuff. The the Lexia Batania Batania jobby mob thingy is what we're doing. We need to get some more wood going here. The living wood, it's it's a real thing, we need it. We need the living wood. And we need the living rock as well. We need both of these things. The pure daisy's doing a stand-up job. Shame it can't do it quicker. But there's probably more advanced methods of, of getting this stuff. I don't know them yet. But we'll learn them together, shall we? We'll have eight of them, and we'll have eight of them. And then we need to make some mana spreaders, I believe. I believe that's where we're heading now. We need to spread the mana. Like a, like a bit of peanut butter or something else that's spreadable. Cool, so we need to get the mana that these are generating, because it's now daytime, although you wouldn't think it on this server, and put it in here. Which, which is easy enough to do. Mana spreader. The mana spreader is made by this. Living wood, gold, and a petal of some description. So let's go get some gold. I'm going to make two of these bad boys just in case I need two of these bad boys. That's the wrong thing. That's the right thing. Gold. We'll have two of them. Bop, bop. Have to go. Thank you. Getting some strangey lag behaviour from, from the server at the moment. Don't know why. Don't know. Don't want to know. Well, I do want to know why, but yeah. There's more lag there. Just Did you see that? Did, did, you, did, you, did you see that? Right, so we'll have two of them. And then we'll have one, 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 one. And we need to make a, a, a wand of the forest as well. Which is, you know, why, why we would do this, I don't know. Uh, oh, we're going to have to go with orange, aren't we? I think we'll go... In fact, we'll go with white. Doop, doop. There we go. Two mana spreaders. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Done. I think that living wood is changing behind me as we speak. And we need the wand of the forest. Which is made with... Wand of the forest. Wand of the forest. Can I click on that? Nope. Brilliant. Uh, is it on this list? No. Excellent. Uh, basics. Wand of the forest is what we want. And you make them by stick, stick, stick. And I think the sticks are two, two living woods on top of each other, so we need to do that twice. And then some... Depends on your colour choices, I suppose. Uh, we may have black on ours, because, you know, black's oppressive and bleak. So we'll grab two of them. Uh, four of them? Four of them, maybe. We'll see what we get out of doing two. Boop, boop. We get one stick out of doing one. Okay, so we need to do that another time. That's expensive little bugger that wand of the forest. He's a he's a pricey little little number there. So we go that, 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 and then we can have black and orange because we did all the orange. There we go. Wand of the forest. Uh, and then this should, if we're holding it, we can look at these things and we don't know what they're doing. They're filling up with man look. Nice. So if we put this chappy in the middle. He can't do anything. But he will probably. Yeah, he's linked up with all of these. See the way he's outlined when you hover over the flower. It shows where they're sending their mana. If we click on him, he's, he's got quite a bit in there. But we now need to somehow bind mode. So I click on that. And then click on that. Does that work? No. Click on that. And click on that. There we go. There we go. So now it's sending. Mana over here? Yeah, we got mana. We've got mana. Don't know how much. Not a lot. But these are, these are doing a job for us now. It will send it in bursts. That will be visible without the, the thing. But that's the route it's taking. We'll just keep an eye on it. Watch it do it once. It should do it rel relatively quickly because it's got quite a bit of mana in there. I always have trouble with these things. What we could do is have... It is, it's getting there. Is have another one up here somewhere. Pointing down at that and then send that up to that one. And then it will send it. And then we could have another group of flowers over here. Which I'm thinking we're going to go with thermal lilies. 
I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm thinking maybe thermal lilies. But they take a lot more crafting. So this will have to do for the time being. I'm I'm kind of hoping it's successful, but we could we could put this thing in. We'll try. We'll try and do something fancy with it, shall we? So if we come out to here ish sort of thing. And then we have this. Hello. On top there. Like that. Uh, and then we bind this onto this. Like that. So it's bound. And then we bind this onto that. So now it sends its mana up to this one. And then that sends its mana down to there. All good? It's got quite a bit of mana in there already. Nice. So we can lose these dirt here. So that's our, our target spreader from, from any mana generating flora and fauna that we may produce. Let's get rid of this wand for the time being. Which is in bind mode because it's got a little, little green dee dee bip bip there. So we need more mana. More mana is the key to everything. The key to the universe and all the things that live in the universe. See, it's doing it. It's doing it even though we're, we're sort of like milling around and ponging. It's working. We need to generate more mana. So what are, we, what are our options here? Uh, mana generating floor, isn't it? This. I would kind of like to go with the Thermalily. Which is a rune of fire. Shift click to see recipe. Uh, which is the runic altar. Uh, which is a pain in the neck to uh, create. And needs mana. Doesn't ever think. So I think we need to make a bigger mana pool. I think that's our first step. So we'll we'll just create one, two, three, four, five. Another mana pool. Uh, another basic mana pool. And if we throw it in, in the other thing, in here, we get the bigger mana pool. The bigger, bigger mana pool there. Nice. Um, which we can then get rid of this mana pool, which will lose us all our current mana store. But we haven't actually got that much in there. Pop that one down in line with that. So I think it was about there. I don't know definitively. We'll need, probably need to re-aim that bad boy. Just so we, we've got it covered. Yeah, I don't know what you're pointing at now, mate. There we go. Nice. So the mana is now getting there. Sweet. I've got a horrible feeling that the generating flowers that we've got will die. I think that's how that sort of thing works. Diluted mana pool can now go in storage because we don't really need it. We've got the, the big mana pool here hoarding up all the mana for us. So we need to make the runic altar. Uh, which we will look up in the book because, yeah, why not? Shift click to see recipe. A diamond, a mana diamond or a mana pearl. I think we've got mana pearls and living rock. I think we've got... The, let's go and check. Let us go check to see if we've got them there, mana pearls. I'm sure we had some something along those lines. M-A-N. Yeah, we've got 13 of the damn things. We've got mana steel ingots for days. So I think if we put the runic altar next to the mana pool, it will work. That's my understanding of the situation. So I think it was something along the lines of mana pearl. And then, no, not that thing. This, this thing. This thing here I'd need to go like that. There we go. Runic altar. A runic altar. Uh, and we pop that next to the mana pool. Or do we need to shoot the mana at it? Will it take it? It may take it there. We'll find out. I mean, it's exciting, isn't it? Exciting times. If we look at it with that in our hand, we don't get a lot of, a lot of feedback there. We're not, we're not getting a lot of feedback. We'll turn that into function mode. But we are getting mana in, so you know, I'm happy enough with that. Let's put that away. So, Runic Altar. What were we doing with the Runic Altar? Anyone remember what we were doing with the Runic Altar? Let's go back, 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 back. Uh, we wanted Nether Wart, which we should have downstairs plenty of. Gunpowder, Nether Brick. 
and three mana steel ingots. And then I think you need to throw some sort of blank rune at it. But look, look how much runage it uses. Zoom times one, zoom times ten. Okay. Three mana steel ingots, nether bricks, nether wart, and gunpowder. I'm sure we've got all of that. Let's just see on the nether brick front. I'm not sure how. We've got 12 nether bricks. Can we turn nether bricks into ordinary bricks? Uh, nether bricks. How do we make these? Is cooking nether rack the only way to make them? Yeah, apparently so. Well, that's a bit of a, a bitter, bitter pill. Hopefully we don't need too many of them. But we will see. Something's jammed again. I'm guessing it's this. Yep, it's this. Wood, not a problem, ever. Yeah, let's let's turn the game sounds down. That is actually quite loud, isn't it? Music and sound. I have it at 21, so it shouldn't be t too, you know, too onerous of a, of a thing. But it is a bit loud. There we go. We've got four nether bricks on so we can cook off there. Jobs are good. Nice bit of fly round there. Always a good bit of joy to fly around. There we go. Cook them off for me. And we wait for them to arrive eagerly. So how many of these do we need? We just we just really need... Um, Thermal Lily's going to do a massive job of generating. Until it expires, of course. Uh, which is... It could be any time. Living wood. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we want mana steel ingots. M-A-N... We've got 23 of them. We'll take the mana pearls as well. There's not much point in keeping them down here. Uh, and then, once we've got the Thermal Lily thing up and running, we're going to throw some coal blocks at it, and hopefully we, we're going to, like, rule the world. It's kind of where I want to be right now, ruling the world. So what do we need for this? Gunpowder Nether Wart. Okay. Forgot about those two. I did actually forget about those two. Uh, nether wart, N E T. Go away, seeds. Nether wart. I will take half a stack of nether wart. Thank you. And I will take a stack of gunpowder because we've got tons of the stuff. No point in scrimping there. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough time. Okay, so we need that, and we need that for a recipe of that. And we need a blank rune. How does one make a blank rune? B L A N K. The blank rune. Does it not show me a blank rune? Maybe it's just rune then. R U N E. Um. No. I guess we need to look up the arcane altar then. The al the runic altar. So if we shift click on that and then go backwards. You need to link a mana spreader to the altar. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so you just drop living rock on top of it. Use the wand on it again, and it will work. Okay. Runic altar. To utilize the runic altar, start by placing it via either by right-clicking or simply tossing the components to create the rune you want. Okay. Proceed by linking a mana spreader to the altar. Okay. We can do that. We can link a mana spreader to the altar. Let's 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 move the altar then. Let's move the altar a bit closer to where we're working. Cuz why not? Uh, we will have that there. Nice. And then we can we can knock together another mana spreader with another bar of gold which we don't have, obviously, cuz that would be that would be too sensible. Uh, gold. Apologise for the noise. Here it comes again. Lots of road noise. Uh, the young man who lives around the corner has tuned his motorbike so it makes stupid noises. It's his choice. 
Uh, let's just make a living wood thing that will spread mana. Or a mana spreader. Which, whichever you want to call it. A living wood thing or a mana spreader. I think we can spread mana straight out of the mana pool thing. So if I pop that next to the mana pool and then put that in bind mode and then bind that to that. Uh, do you have... You've got mana in you. Cool. You've drained all the mana into that mana spreader. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. But not for long. The Thermal Lily, I think, once we've got it, is going to do as a stand-up job. So I'm not too worried. So now we need... What was it? Check the recipe again. Uh, go back. Three. Mana Steel. Nether Brick. Okay. This is complicated. Three Mana Steel. One, two, three. Nether Wart. Nether Brick. And gunpowder. Just the one nether wart, thanks. All the same game. Uh, so we want... Have they gone in? They've gone in. Okay. So that as well. That. And that. Okay, do we now throw living rock on there? Like that. And that fell off. That did actually fall off there. And and then we, we, we click on it with the wand of something or other. This thing. Let's just get it out of that mode. Is it doing? Are you doing? It's doing slowly. I think that's what... That little timer dealy bot means. It's doing it slowly. Maybe that's the amount of mana it needs. But we'll see how that produces next time. Look at it all. Look at it all. We've gone from no Britannia to all the Britannia in like two episodes. It's amazing stuff. So, from Furry Ears World for now. I'm going to right click it again. Don't know what good I did there, but I'm sure I'm going to do. From Furry Ears World for now. Yeah, the, the timing thing is definitely getting bigger. It's doing it slowly. I think it's got enough mana. So, for now, from Furrier's World, we're going to go with... Ta-ta!